like a monstrosity stuff. So it's got one of those applicator thing in the It just makes the eye pop up here. finally stopped raining although I checked the like weather report and it's meant to rain the next few days as <laughs> anyways so I'm just gonna wash some clothes today I also actually have a like a try on a dressing room try on that I want to film so I'm going to head out whilst it's not like pouring oh, the rain has just been terrible like it's been leaking through and we've had to put like towels and buckets and things downstairs oh, it's just like coming through and um thank god like yesterday it wasn't too bad like it was a little bit but a few days ago it was just like terribly pouring that is why i haven't actually been vlogging much this week at all because it's just like trying to deal with all of that and also when it rains like that it's also actually really noisy when it rains that heavy that like i feel like the sound also interferes with the filming Chip is quite happy that it finally stopped he could go for a walk and also he could now bark at the cats that he sees because he's out on the balcony I'm wearing my denim jacket today. This is, I think this is the Audi one. I don't remember. And then I'm just wearing this grey skirt because I think the combo looks fine. And then I usually just wear either like my little short boots or slip-ons in case I'm trying on like a skirt or a dress and then like the shoes need to be easy to take off or pants. I'm heading to the shops before, you know, it gets too busy because it's school holidays. So. so I'm home now and I'm in my comfy gear. On the way home, I drove past Macca's. All over my TikTok, these mozzarella sticks have been there and I'm like, you know what? I think they came out this week. I've got to try them out, but also <laughs> the creme brulee apple pie. Oh, sorry, the creme brulee pie. It's not an apple pie. I'm really excited about that. I did also eat the chips on my way home, so I've got none of those left. But I really wanted to try the mozzarella. Did they give me a sauce? Yes, they did. I'm sure I've tried these before, but it's been a very long time. So there comes, there's four in a pack. They look like mozzarella sticks. This smells nice. It's like a, like a pasta sauce. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, these are so good. I'm going to eat these and then I'll try the apple pie a bit later. I've got to hang out my clothes. Oh, but I still want it to be warm. All right, I'll finish these and we'll try it. We'll at least have a bite. <laughs> Okay, they were yummy. Now let's try the pie. It sounds so nice. Creme brulee sounds delicious. Okay, so from pictures I can see, <laughs> look at the little dip. It's I think it's got like half and half, so you have to take like one bite. It's sweet, but it's so good. You can taste like the caramel a bit. Mm-hmm. They're delicious. Normally I don't take like one big bite. I kind of buy like that from the apple pie but because they've made it like two separate things you kind of have to take big bites i know so many people don't really like maccas but this is so good it's a little bit later on in the day it's still daylight however i'm going to do my night routine a little bit earlier today because i've noticed because it's winter and it's cold and i've been going to bed late and on days where i'm not wearing makeup i haven't been doing my night routine as often so if i do it earlier it's better than not doing it at all so I want to share with you guys this Revitalift Laser Pure Retinol Night Serum. I want to try it out because my mum actually bought this for herself. She put it on her face and it actually made her face go red. So she put on it. I know she put it on the forehead because that's where it went red. And um, I don't know if she put too much or not on. But I think it was a little bit strong for her because she's not used to using like retinol sort of stuff. And I figured seeing as I use Trinoin, which is probably the strongest form you can have, um, this should be a walk in the park for me. So she gave it to me. So I'm going to try it out. So it's got one of those applicator thingamajiggies. Alright, so it looks like that in texture. Let's roll around and I might have put a little too much on myself, but we'll pop it everywhere. It feels quite nice and syrupy, but hopefully it's fine to my skin. I just I won't do it in the eye area until I know for sure that it will be fine for me. I like the feel of it. No redness on me, so I think it's good. I'll keep using it and I will let you guys know what I think.
everybody it is Friday today it is actually not raining which is great let me check the weather report I'm sure it said it was still going to rain this weekend it's not oh that's awesome it's meant to be sunny all day okay I've put my clothes to wash so I'm glad that they're going to dry so it's not meant to rain until Sunday but that can change so good for it to have stopped raining I just made myself some breakfast I've just got an egg toast and I'm just uploading a video that was meant to go up yesterday, but I was having like a meeting, a late, a later night meeting, so it kind of went over time. And so therefore I just decided to upload it today, which I don't think it really matters. Actually, I probably will mention this on maybe like a community post or something because I did do a premiere for the taste testing video with my sister and Angus uh, the other day and I did the premiere like today for tomorrow and maybe I didn't give people enough time I don't know um only Diana and one other person showed up so thank you to Joe for showing up um I don't know if it's because maybe people didn't know or do people not like to do like if you're not sure what a premiere is it's when I put up the video I'm also there like watching it with you and you can chat with me so if you guys want to chat with me like that's good opportunity to like I don't know ask me questions or whatever just have a chat or I can ask you guys questions uh, it's fun to actually get to know you guys as well so I thought it'd be nice to try it out I'd never done a premiere before I've been I've seen other people's ones so I kind of saw what happens that people chat so I wasn't sure like how much notice to give or what to do and also I wasn't sure which video to do and I thought that taste testing one was kind of a fun video to like watch and chat with so I would like your guys opinion do you want to have a premiere where I'm there and you can chat to me and watch a video or uh, would you prefer a live maybe to like chat with me and then I don't know do my makeup or something but then I can't really chat I feel like if I'm doing something um but uh let me know and if you guys do want something like that let me know what kind of suits a lot of you guys I chose uh 7 p.m on a Wednesday I chose evening because I thought in case people work during the day they might be available in the evening and I kind of tried to do what I feel like is a little bit after dinner but not too late in the evening so I was going by Australian Eastern Standard Time Sydney time uh, so let me know what suits you guys but let me know in like my time you can let me know in your time but as long as you tell me it's your time so then i can figure that out and then i can kind of go and see with what majority likes and then we can maybe organize another premiere uh, if you guys want something like if not then i just won't do that going forward but it would be nice to have, be able to actually chat to some of you guys rather than just responding with like um under your comments so today i do have some editing to do and I don't know. I haven't completely planned the day yet. I've got to sit down and plan out the, some of the stuff that I need to do now and this weekend as well. So I will catch up with you guys uh, when we know what's happening. So I'm just putting on my makeup for today. I've done my foundation. I just use my mix my Sephora and Juvia's Place foundation and I was going to use my Dior palette to do like a face today but it doesn't kind of go with my outfit and I don't want to change my outfit because this is like golden and this is warm tone outfit like the red and the mustard is warm tone so I feel like it didn't work with that and that's a cool tone so I'm just going to do my Jaclyn Hill this is like super duper old but I still like it like I've used quite a bit of it if you guys can see there's like quite a few colors but I'm gonna use these like in the realm of the red shades because I kind of like reds and pinks on my eye I feel like uh, it suits me so I'll see I want to do a little bit of like really orange or something like that I do do orange usually when I'm going for like a warm tone I do a little bit of orange but now I'm gonna try and do a bit more on the red tone so we'll see how that works normally when I do like a nice red I like to use my Tati palette uh, but I feel like using this one today because there's quite a few colors to choose from and we'll see what we can do And I always start off with a nice matte shade and usually it's something that I can see because I kind of like that To be my base color like if I'm doing a color I usually tend to go for that's like the color that I'm working around So if now it's like the red so this is like a nice deep like a kind of like my top red a little I guess a little bit more deeper and uh, that will be my base and then I'll kind of work with that and literally like I as I go like I try things out I'm like yeah yeah that goes that goes and then somehow an eye look is made and I literally only put the color in the crease because these brushes are quite fluffy I got these from Zueva uh, they're my favorite kind of blending brush because they're fluffy they sort of blend it all out for you everywhere so a little bit still goes on the lid and around but I like that but it does that so it's not like a line 
because you could even just leave it at this and you're done for the day the most minimum i would do is do this and then i'd get like a shimmer shade and pop that on my eye and then that's it like this simple very easy and it works and i'm going to do a little bit something like that but just a little bit more so i want to do actually i'm now going to work with the shimmer shades but i'm going to do a bit of a darker red on the outer normally i do a matte shade on the outer but i'm going to do a shimmer on the outer of a darker and a shimmer on the inner and then that's it as you guys can see i did the lighter shimmer half of the eye and then the darker shimmer on the outer eye i think that looks good and then i started doing the underneath of this eye i highly recommend you get like a nice like flat kind of brush like this i don't know this is an old brush it doesn't even say what it is <laughs> i've had it for a long time but something quite thin that you can work with to stay really close to your under eye and then i like i do a whole range of shades for my eyes like literally i've used one two three and now four and then i'll use another one so like five but you don't really need to you can just use for example the way i normally would do is the same color that i used in my crease i would use that underneath and then i use like a nice shimmer and i kind of do the top half of the inner kind of in of the eye just to kind of make that pop but because i have the colors here i'm using a little bit of a different shade i don't know if you guys can tell this bottom shade has a little bit of like a burnt orange to it and then and therefore and then I, I always start with matte and then always put shimmer over it so then i'll go with like a similar shade of shimmer from the outer bit to the halfway because i feel like the kind of shimmer and what i mean my shimmer is like the sheen ones let me give you an example like can you guys see that where how it's it's got a bit of shimmer to it and some sheen so a little bit of shine and i do a darker one on the outside and then i'll get a lighter one on the inner bit and i feel like that really works kind of to make your eyes pop and this is the combo i always always use it's just how i like and i feel like it looks good and then i always do a little bit on the inner eye and kind of push it down a bit and i always use something that's kind of highlighting so therefore for example i've got a red sh shade so if i have like this palette does have these kind of top colors that are you know i guess on a pink or a red tone so i use one of those to highlight like that inner eye bit but if i'm using a color like say blue or something that i don't have a light shade i just use my highlighter and i pop that in the inner eye and then so it's not just plain there i push it down so it kind of blends in as well to the eye so it's part of the eye look and i feel like that also makes it just makes the eye pop a bit if you feel like that's too much i would not put that in like that's really not necessary it's just stansy going a little bit extra and then literally that's it i'm just gonna pop mascara i'll probably do lashes as well but i'll just do that off camera because i need a bit of concentration for the lashes and then we'll figure out what lip we're doing eyes are done i put on eyeliner as well i just felt like it completed the look but why didn't anyone tell me my eyebrows were done i was like there's something missing and then i was like the eyebrows aren't done so that's all done now i had already put on like my bronzer and my blush beforehand i'm gonna now go in with my laura mercier pencil this is baby lips shade so what i'm gonna do is because i've got like a red tinge this has you know a little bit of like a on a rose color so i'm just gonna line the lips but what i was thinking because i'm just going to use my nyx the new one that i'd got this dust to dawn on and I'm gonna line the lips and then I'm actually because I put foundation on my lips I don't know if you guys can tell like they're missing because uh, I put foundation on and normally I go straight in with the lip but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use this to fill it out a little bit to get a bit of color underneath that shade because I thought that was too light could even just wear this as a as a, like a lipstick on its own okay I've shaded in some of that and now I'm just going to go in with this lip color here on top and that way the lip see how it's not as light as it was i don't know if you guys could probably remember but it's not as light as it was because the rose tone has kind of come through the shade so now it's like a nude color with a little bit of rose to it i'm just gonna keep my lips apart so it dries now i do like a matte lip but i'm gonna put on some gloss because i love gloss so this is the mk beauty one and that finishes off the lip this is a really nice lip gloss. I got a touch of the MAC Fix Plus, but when it comes to the end, it sprays a little crazy, but I'm still gonna do it. Like it, 
<laughs> I probably shouldn't use it anymore. It sprays like comes out like a hose. The makeup is on and set. Got to go get the clothes out of the washing machine and hang them up to dry. Hey guys, I'm at my sister's place now. I'm here to make dinner for tonight. And we've decided we're going to have baked potatoes with bolognese sauce. I've actually never made that myself, but I thought it would be something that was interesting to have. Like we eat potatoes, we eat bolognese, and instead of doing pasta, we want to do it that way. Uh, but I got here and I saw that my sister did not have any potatoes. So Angus has just gone out to grab the potatoes. I'm preheating the oven because those have got to go in because they're going to take like an hour. And then the bolognese sauce will be nice and quick. <laughs> hey Chip. He's confused because I haven't sat down, so he's like, are we leaving? What's happening? Where are we going? <laughs> so it's a cutie. The potatoes are done. I've put a fork through them all. I've rubbed them all with some oil, and now I'm going to cover it with foil, and we're just going to cook them. Forgot to record, but here is the sauce. So I cut up some carrots. I put some mushrooms in there. There's some garlic, and then there's a, like a passata. And I fried up the mince and now we're just waiting for the potatoes to be ready. Okay, that is the sauce. We've pulled a, a potato each. The others, I put them back in the oven because I don't know if they're ready. There's Angus. How is uh, is your potato cooked? I mean, I've had them in the oven for an hour and a half, but I don't think they're fully... They're okay. They're the way my mum makes them for me. <laughs> Nathan, he's a bit unsure about it because oh, we haven't no, had this hot. before. Sonia doing beverages. Christian got up from sleep, he's got a new job, so he needs an early start. <laughs> he looks still asleep. Then, oh, look at this guy. I don't know, he's... Well, what is this? Cuteness. This makes him look... Look, he didn't take and looks pretty now. Oh, well, I can't... This. Yeah, because mine doesn't have that. Actually, it looks good, though. Something you know different. We haven't had this before. Yeah, nice. yeah put some pounders in. Why not? She's up. There you go, why not? Why not? May as well just put it in and put all of us while you're doing the rounds. Well, I'm going it's like a restaurant. Yes, please. Huh? That's the point. You, you it's not meant to be. Oh, no, I've got it on myself. Oh, well, that, okay. Well, they're probably for the wash anyway. So, what difference does it make? Okay. Alrighty. Bon appetit. I'm trying to see if it's hot. It's good. What are you seeing? 